Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy JD, and I'm back giving another video. As you tell by the title below, this is Vlogmas Day 6. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. I hope you guys uh, checked out Vlogmas Day 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I hope you guys are enjoying that so far. And we're going to get into Vlogmas Day 6. Um, as I told y'all in Vlogmas Day 1, we're switching it up. We're not doing, you know, what other people are doing. I'm, you know, on this channel, we're doing our own thing, you know. So, I know um, you guys have been enjoying the other ones. So, I'm just going to get straight into this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share your with your friends and family. And guys, this is going to be the story time about how... I got exposed. Well, let's not say I got exposed. I almost got exposed at school at the Christmas party. At a school Christmas party. Because even though I titled this video, I got exposed. It was like I almost did. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, or it wasn't like all the way fully, but it was a little bit. But I did catch myself and whatever, whatever. But anyways, guys, let's get into this video right now. So, basically, this happened at the 6th... It was either it was 5th grade or 6th grade... Mm. It was either 5th grade or 6th grade Christmas party. I forgot which one it was. I think it might have been the 5th grade, but, I, but it could have been 6th grade. But anyways, guys, it was an elementary school Christmas party. Mind you, back then we're, we were like, what, maybe hmm, eight? Ah, no, because, like, how old are you in 10th grade? I think, like, 10 or 11, maybe, something like that. Around that age. So, we in elementary school, and it just happened that, like, for that, uh, that particular day, we was having our Christmas party, and it was right before Christmas break. So... Me, so I'm gonna just give y'all give people code names right now. So mind you, if y'all watch some of my other story times on my channel, y'all would know some of these code names because the same people. So it was still like our friend group. I mean, my little friend group with Patrick, and then you got um, Patrick, you got Lindsay, you got um, Jay, you got. Um, who oh, else? And it was and it was two other people. Mind you, we was immature back then. You know, we was real childish. Real childish as you would be. And, you know, at that age. So, I don't know why, but for some reason, it was just like a big thing. They were just going around pantsing people. Which, I'm just like... Now that I look back on it, like, girl, you're... That's immature as hell. And, like, whole time, that's... I'm not gonna say rape, but, like, I feel like that's sexual assault. But, I don't know. Anyways, we they was going around passing people. Mind you, I used to laugh. I used to be like, damn, like, because, you know, they just showing people draws or whatever, right? So, I'm going to put this disc disclaimer in this right now. Right now. Because I know I know people going to be starting to try to judge me. And, like, when I, when I post this video and I see it in the comments, if I see anything about this situation, I'm going to have a problem because... Mind you, that particular day that we had the Christmas party, I did not. Mind you, we had wore pajamas. They was like, oh, we could wear pajamas, whatever, whatever. So it was a pajama day also. So I was like, freak it, I'm just going to wear some pajamas. Mind you, I just was like, freak it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell, tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. I just said, freak it, I was just not going to wear no drawers that day, like, I just was like freaky. I'm wearing pajama pants and my I'm wearing my whole pajama set. Like I'm not gonna wear them. So me not thinking in the back of my mind, damn, they did say they was gonna pants people and that they've been doing it for the last week. So like maybe I should be prepared for that. But I was thinking in my head and in my mental, I was like, they ain't gonna do it to me. They ain't gonna do it to me. Cause they know damn they know better. They know better than try me, right? But sadly, sadly mistaken, they didn't. They 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 really didn't. So I didn't wear drawers that day. I went to school. And first off, for yeah, like first off, um, nobody in the comments can say, Oh, you're dirty for not wearing drawers. Baby, everybody did it. And if you and if you say you didn't, you're lying out your ass. Because everybody has 
went at least one day or one time without wearing drawers. Let's be for real. Let's be for real now. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I know I'm not the only one. But I went to school with no drawers on and I had the pajamas on. Mind you, I, had, I think I had like red and black pajamas on, I believe. And I just went up to the thing and I was like, freak it. Because why not? I got into school. I'm talking to my friend group, you know, Patrick and them, and Lindsay and Jay and all of them. I'm talking to them, you know, we chopping up how fun it's going to be. Mind you, it was, a, it was the last day of school before Christmas break. So, you know, we was all happy. Ooh, this is going to be the last day. We don't got to go to school for like, I think it was like a week and a half or something. So, you know, we was all happy. Mind you, we didn't have, I don't think we um did any classwork that day either so it was just like a big christmas party you know we brought gifts candy stuff like that right so we they all joking around we all joking around we having a good time we watching a christmas movie right so we get into the hallway i think we were on our way to lunch or something and they just decided so ron and ron ray and tim them three, them three. I, I'm not gonna say I didn't fuck with them, but like I was cool with them on certain occasions, and sometimes they used to be trying to be funny. But you know, on certain occasions, I used to be cool with them. So they initially started it and started just going around pantsing people. So mind you, they pants, and, and my thing, it wasn't even it was boys that was doing it, and, and it was it was one girl, but. It was like boys was pantsing boys. And then even the boys were pantsing the girls, which was like, damn, really that's ain't that sexual assault. Like, but anyways, but I don't know. I feel like it is. But yeah, they they so they pants this boy name. Um, let me see what code name I wanna give him. I'ma give him Tom. We're gonna say we're gonna say Ron and Ray pants Tom first. And everybody laughing. I'm laughing, joking around with it too. It, Cause you know, yeah, I was joking around with it too. And then and then after they pants Tom, Ray went over and he was in the area of me, Jay, and um Patrick. So I'm like, he ain't gonna come over here and do that because he know damn better. He know better, right? So as he's walking over, I'm still like why is he still coming towards us? Like, I hope he know better because he better not bring that shit over here. You know? So he ended up pantsing, um, not... He ended up pantsing the boy that Patrick was talking to. So Patrick was talking to, um, let's give him another code name. Uh, so Patrick was talking to Andy. We want to say Patrick was talking to Andy and I don't know where, mind you, Andy is like facing towards Joshua. So his backside was towards um, Ray and the rest of them. So they just ended up walking up to him, pantsing him, right? And mind you, it wasn't even like a, like a half pants. It was like fully pulling niggas' pants down. And I was like, and plus, I was like, damn, I hope they don't bring that shit over here because... I don't, mind you, I don't have no drawers on. So, this is going to see my ass. They're going to see my ass. <laughs> so, I'm just like, yeah, they're going to see all my private parts. Well, they won't see the front. They won't see the back. But, I'm just like, yeah, hopefully he do not come over here. Like, please do not fucking come over here. Do not. Do not walk your way over here. No. And my job is still laughing at other people getting pierced. And low key, that probably was my karma because why was you laughing at other people? Then when they came over to me, literally they thought it was a they thought it was a joke. They was a, thought it was a joke. So I thought I was like, you know what? Since they already in this area, let me hold on to my damn pants because I don't need to be exposed at at school. You know what I mean? So we get back in the classroom. And mind you, I was just finna go sit down. I was just finna go sit down at my desk. Ray comes over here with Tim. And mind you, they just go. And I mean, they yanked the hell out of my pants. Like, I mean, like, they used full force and said, yink, right? Mind you, 
I I was still holding on to my pants just in case. So you seen a little bit, but you didn't see a lot. Like you seen like maybe part of the butt crack a little bit, maybe if that. Cause I had to make sure I had the hold on to them pants because baby, you're not finna get me. You're not finna get me, especially cause I ain't had no drama. Yeah, you're not getting me. You're you, you, that, that's what's not finna happen. That's not that's not what's finna happen. So I make sure I held, I held on to them damn pants. And then after they tried it the first time, that you only seen a little bit of my butt crack, and that was it. And they didn't they didn't get the pants down. Everybody was still laughing a little bit. But now they feel like, oh, I gotta come back for round two. So after they had it the first time, I'm like, I'm like, move, y'all playing too damn fucking much. Like move, like I literally was like move, and I pushed Ray a little bit, cause I'm like move, y'all being weird as fuck. Like what is, like really, it's giving like, yeah, I don't know. But so after I had told them like move, get the fuck away from me, right? The second time they did it, it was towards the end of the day. And decided to do it again. Mind you, this time I was it caught me off guard. It caught me off guard. So they did it, but they didn't do it as hard as they did it the first time. So they did like a little light thing. But luckily, I luckily I you didn't see anything at all. Luckily you didn't, you know, because if if you did, they would have just saw a whole bunch of cheeks. And and that's and that's the really sad truth, to be honest, about that. Like, why would you do that at the Christmas party? Why I don't even know why we was doing it, period. Like, that gives very immature. And it's given, like, really weird. Like, why was we doing that at that age? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like we was really doing a lot of grown. Well, I don't feel like it's grown. But, like, I feel like we were doing a whole bunch of stuff that we had no damn business doing. Like, at all. Like, what is, what was wrong with us, low-key, like, now that I think about, like, what was wrong with us, like, hmm, I don't know, but guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, share with your friends and family, also, guys, let me know in the comments what y'all thought about this video, and I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas, this was Vlogmas Day 6, and I'll see you guys on Vlogmas Day 7, guys, and... Also, go over to JDAsworldshop.com and go check out my merch. Go grab you a, a, a pullover hoodie, a jacket, a shirt, a coffee cup, um, a water bottle, a mask. Because, you know, you know, you might still need a mask. Um, a poster you can get. And then, you know, and use code OUTSIDE22 to get 45% off on checkout. Like, go check that out. But I'm out, Ace Mob. Peace.